Five o'clock. Let's start it. Um, make motion to accept the minutes. Last minute. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, first I'd like to start off by welcoming a new member to the Finance Committee. Oh my goodness. So let's, uh, let's just, uh, in the, have a, let's have a little kumbaya here. Uh, Dan, why don't you just say a little bit about yourself, where you, how long you've been here? And well, I've been here a few years. I don't remember how long, but they're trying to get rid of me, but I haven't left. Jim Kirkendall, I've been here, uh, it's my third year on the committee, third budget season. I'm Kevin. Kevin. I guess it's maybe nine, maybe 12. Yeah. Um, maybe where where we live might be. I live on Christian Lane. Christian Lane. Hayden Go. 311 Hayden Go Road. Miles off of the way to the end. And you stop in at time. Um, <laughs> Paul Anteo. I live up on 50 Weber Road in West Waverly. I've been here for, this is my second tour of duty. Um, and I guess for a total of a bunch. 20. 20. Good. I'm Tom Mahar. I live on 28 Poplarville Road in West Whaley. I've been living here for 40 years, and I've been on this committee on and off for 53. 35, anyway. <laughs> uh, Fred Barron, 20 North Street, a mile up the road. One, one. This is my third season as well. I'm Roxanne Dunn. I live just down the road. Road. Um, Don Bates is my husband, um, and I, we've lived in Waitley for four years, five years. Stan? Stan. All right. And welcome aboard. Brian, the town administrator. I've been here almost three years, and I don't live in town. <laughs> but it's a great place to live. I'll leave it at that. I can't afford to live here. That's right. <laughs> Amy Schrader, and I live right down the street. <laughs> All right, kumbaya session's over. All right. So uh, let's start. Okay, we get the minutes, discuss, and possible vote to approve FY 2020 operating budgets. Brian, do you have anything to say before we stop that? You said something about a reserve fund transfer? No, I was joking. Okay. Okay. I, I would suggest maybe we do the minutes and then get into the capital stuff because we haven't talked about that too much in one bunch. Right, we did the okay, minutes. we did the minutes. We did? Yeah. Yes, that was Get that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Amy, you guys that. are quick like that. Yeah, we are. That's how we operate. Okay, so if, you know, if everyone, we have a new bunch of books. And I want to say that slick. Yeah. Thanks, that's very impressive for that. Just to say that's that, Amy, she got sick of running off all those papers yeah. last beautiful, minute. Beautiful yeah. thing. Beautiful thing. Okay, perfect. All right. There's some extra to check. All right, so let's ignore that book for a second. Yep. And let's look at this one. Want to go to Capitol? Nice 11 by 17. This one with all this wasted space. All the one with the wasted space. Yep. Okay. Okay. Where do you want to start? Let's look at the H title capital. This is the fourth page. One, two, three. Title capital projects fiscal year 2020 spending proposal. Yeah. It's a pretty good overview. <coughs> Left hand column, that's CIPC priority designation that we had reviewed once before. Um, a is a higher priority than B and it's higher priority than C. Project description, name of department or facility, and then these next columns are where we could take money from to pay for these. And this is what my proposal would be for these, um, how we would pay for these items. To you, should we run down through them? Yes. Uh, so the top one was replace the wood oil furnace at the highway garage. Um, that $7,500 is being asked that could come out of free cash. Um, handicap accessibility improvements, that's at the library. This is for the design phase of the project. This was originally $45,000. And you know, Jim Ross had 
spoken with uh, Paul and I one afternoon, and he requested that that be reduced to down to thirty-five thousand. So they have a more firm cost estimate for that. Next project is to replace tires on the front loader for the highway department. Was proposed at eight thousand dollars in free cash. Pickup truck replacement for the highway department. The request is ten thousand dollars. That's the one from the water department. That's the one that would yep, that would purchase the water department truck. When we had created the vehicle stabilization account for the two years ago, we had said that we were that we were going to purchase vehicles out of that account. So that's why that's there. Um, the next one, two, three, four. Um, the next one, two, three, the water infrastructure ones we're going to talk about at 6.30, try to make some decisions on that. So the next one is the last project ranked A, this pickup truck replacement for the water department. That's $20,000 that will come out of their retained earnings. Design new softball and baseball field, $5,000. That's being funded, That's at, this is actually being funded currently with CPA administration. CPA administration, administrative funds. Okay. Because they appropriate $6,000 each year and they had $5,000 that they were not going to use in design of projects. Design of CPA eligible projects is an eligible expense for those, for those funds. Um, the next one, construct a new softball baseball field. Um, again, this would be CPA eligible and the CPC deferred this project and asked them to come back um, for the June or July submission of projects. The idea being they would have more firm cost estimates after they spent the $5,000. Uh, the next one is replace four inch fire hose with five inch fire hose. This is for the fire department. Both $13,750. Come out of free cash. Replace carpet with flooring tile in the area of rugs, the Whaley Elementary School. That was for, I believe it was, Dan, it was, it was for three classrooms, right? Three classrooms in the three. nurse's office. They have some done for the next three. That's um, what I believe. None. That's it. They'll be all done. That's supposed to finish it. Um, replace the siding at the fire station. I know John met with a, um, a butler building authorized contractor, but I don't know that he's gotten estimates back yet on what the cost would be to patch up that side with the metal. So yeah. is he going to have an answer here in the next? Hopefully he'll have an answer before the 16th. He'll, he'll have to have an answer before the 16th. Yeah, I was going to say he's running out of time. Um, then replace AC window units with mini splits at the Whaley Elementary School. It could be done with 15000 in free cash. Sidewalk reconstruction and crosswalks on Chestnut Plain Road. That's grant funded, the 209-585 with the Complete Streets Grant. And then the Veterans Memorial Project, um, that would be a CPA eligible project. And again, that one, the CPC is asked to be resubmitted when there's um, further design for the, the summer round of um, CPA applications. So if you look below, the FY20 project is total, and those are, this will be the totals for each of these different um, sources of funds. So the total for free cash for FY20 would be 137.50. Um, none of this would come out of the tax levy. Nothing from enterprise receipts. Twenty thousand dollars for enterprise retained earnings. Zero to capital stabilization. Ten thousand from vehicle. Nothing from receipts reserved for appropriation, nothing from special revenue. Um, CPA funds would be um, 70,000 for these projects. Uh, the grants 20958 and nothing for gifts, donations, and borrowing. We also, have, we also have debt that's currently outstanding and it's paid for by the tax levy. The 82619 is uh, the fire truck debt service for the fire truck. Um, the enterprise receipts funded debt is for water meters and one other one. Water meters and uh, the manganese filtration. How could I forget that? Yeah. Um, and then the 34, 
thousand is a placeholder for CPA funds. The debt for the town hall is CPA back debt, and the, the debt service payments are paid out of the, the CPA. Um, so these are the next line down of the current balance in the accounts. Currently, there's six hundred seventy-two thousand nine hundred eighty-seven dollars in, in free cash. Um, Enterprise retained earnings has 67,331. Capital stabilization has 184, 567. Vehicle stabilization has 51,118. And those are what we have in those uh, reserve accounts. Okay. Discussion. What's the advantage of the change in the air conditioner to mini splits? And how many is it? They just want to do the office which there is none in there and it's facing so that's the hottest place one of them they, they want for the uh, back part of the kitchen because the central system can't handle the heat and they put out in there so they put the office and the one in the kitchen central unit can't handle those Two particular places because of the sunlight. Maybe the girls want to feel more comfortable on the top. Will it work? I can understand they need it in the, in the uh, kitchen because I would imagine it gets pretty hot back there. Will it work? It worked. It looked the way it's tight. <laughs> um, any other? I got a quick one. Uh, when it comes to the Recreation Commission, who's doing the design? Is, has, has that been has that been finalized yet? Is that is they, he didn't really have a handle on what was going on? No, um, he's a space filler. Right I now, so I've seen I've seen a preliminary plan. Who's going to do it? Going to want to say SVE, but I not 100 percent sure. It's going to be in early. Over in the corner, the first design maybe fits yeah, early fits in the corner. The the schematic layout shows that it fits. We'll see what our, yeah what happens. What did they What did they end up doing with? Uh, we touched on it a little bit last week. What did they end up doing with the funds that we appropriated for the? Moving of the uh, okay, okay. Dugouts, okay. which they found out they can't move because it's too close to property. Okay. What are those? What are those funds going? I thought they said it went back to the general fund. Did it or? Um, that's a good question. I don't. I don't know. I don't it hasn't been used. So they only go back to 2017. Were those yeah, CPA funds? Was it? was it CPA funds or was it? You would have been CPA so. eligible. I don't think so. CPA no, I, funds, so. I think it was just we took it out of our budget. Um, I'd have to go look at that, the expense report. The last one I see was the gymnasium padding. 6000 they spent the day. It's all gone 100000 or 100%. We can find out. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a that's a certainly an answer we'd like yep. at some point. Um, do we do we need to vote on this? Is there um, capital? We need to vote on them between uh, before uh, <clears throat> if not tonight then April sixteenth. I have one more question. Okay. Okay. So is this a good number for the oil furnace? Moving it and not anything else going on that you don't know about. No, it's, a, it's a good. Mm -hmm. No, but is it? Is there? I'm guessing it's against a wall. Yes. So there's nothing exciting going on against the wall. That well, they want, don't want to change the design of it. They want right. to stay with the same type. But when you take it out, well, well, the wall. When they say put it in, oh, you need this. No. Okay. It supposedly would be similar to a port, full portion. Where they can use the same top duct work other than maybe adapting the wood to a different diameter and everything, but it'll be set up the same way. Yeah, it's got to hook up to the existing duct work. Yes. Yeah. 
that's why that's why they want to look at that type of that. Best of my knowledge, I haven't researched the CEO of price if you could get well, it. Well, I just want to make sure that when they take it on, they say, oh my God, we're going to need this done. No, it doesn't sound like he's going to have to do any renovations to Okay. Okay. Other than just you know, adapting the ductwork right on top. I got a question about the sidewalk reconstruction and crosswalks. Yep. Can that be done at the same time we're doing the water? Isn't that the plan? Um, maybe. There's no reason it couldn't be, assuming the design. Everything's designed. Is, but, but there, there is this, is this, like bid, is it already bid ready or we're... The sidewalk reconstruction? Yeah, or we're gonna do it ourselves? Um, I don't think you could do one without the other. That's what I'm thinking. You no, know, you need to You're not gonna interfere with each other for money. Yeah, there's, there's, not a, there's not a whole lot of excavation for the, for the water, for the town center water project, except... Where the pump pit's gonna be. Is this where the pump pit, except where the pump's gonna be and then up until where the, uh, the district system starts. I think it's in front of John Hannon's house. So they need to excavate from where the, from the existing water department main, which cuts across. I think it cuts across by the so center school. Yeah. The pump house is going on the cemetery side. That's the pump That was what I thought. Yeah. yeah. So, so they just have to, well, it's just going to be a whole trench road across to that road. other line. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty simple. Okay. okay. They're not going to be going right up to the center of town with a new line. No, no. because the, they're just going to hook into the old line. That's why they, for now. That's yeah, that why they went with time canceled. two pumps time instead of one. If they, they'd gone with one, they'd have to put another line in to get get that volume up to the center. Okay. So they went with the other, which is, and with, like Adam says, with the, uh, any, any fire fought in the center of town will come off of the existing hydrant there with the pump station. Not off, not, the off the, not off the new line, because that line won't stand that kind of pressure. That's why it's not being replaced. Okay, all right. Pump is cheaper than the second line. Yep. Right. Yeah, there's proposed, they could, the existing system can handle one fire, 1,000 gallon per minute fire pump. Um, so that's something, something we'll talk about in okay. a while. Okay, all right. Yeah, we're going to talk a lot about that. Yeah. All right. Um, Anything else? Any other thoughts? So we will be voting on this next meeting. So you definitely can't because John doesn't have any information. Right. right. You can't vote on it. Until yeah. Right. We'll be right. voting on it as as articles once it gets put into articles. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. And this is what we would expect the articles to say, with the exception of what John hears back from the from the Butler repair person. Yeah, right. The only question I have is whether yeah, we got to vote on this on the 16th because, and it's got to be signed. The next day. Yeah, because the meeting's the 30th. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Annual uh, Tommy uh, uh, warrants need seven, day, seven days in advance. Oh, I thought it was 14. No, those are just specials. <clears throat> oh, okay. So we got plenty right. of so time. Oh, we got one. <laughs> I, I would say, you know, based on how the rest of the budget looks, whether we want to look at and that's putting more money into the more extra money into the vehicle stabilization fund right the pre I assume we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah, I, I, yeah, but I, I see a couple of yeah big things coming up definitely down the road. Yeah. There's always a big thing. I think that would be a, a good discussion to have. Um, and I think it would be a good discussion to have after the dust settles on what we do with the water the water project. And then there's some placeholders here for things that we've talked about before. And you can't see when I what I circled on my paper and I said here, but under the uh, free cash, there's some items in italics. I do not necessarily town capital items, but they're requests that have been made or the frontier capital. Yeah. The front the frontier school committee is voting on the capital projects on April 4th because they have to. There's a timeline that the town needs to take, the towns need to take action. I think it's within 45 or 60 days 
um, if it wants to reject the <coughs> school committee proposal. Just if we don't take action within that 45 or 60 day period, then it's assumed that the town's consent to the, or that the town's authorized frontier to go ahead. All four towns have to approve it, or three out of four? Um, I don't, I'm not sure what it is for capital. I think it's all four. Is that four? Yeah, it could be very interesting. Last year we approved it. I don't think you're going to ask for 20, not 20. Oh, 20? Okay. Yeah. So put that to 20 and that goes over the track first. 308. All right. All right. What do you want? What's next on the agenda? Discuss the impossible and possible vote to approve FY 2020 operating budgets. I want to keep all your options open. Always, always, always. Go through one at a time. Or do a section at a time. A section. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so we have the big sheet right here that has, that has the uh, operating budget on it, starting with the general government. Anybody have that? <laughs> and um, yeah, a lot of numbers. Yeah, I got hundreds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> General government, we have a uh, 2020 operating budget without the enterprise, uh, 418-217-95. Change of 10.45%. Which is 39,000. Five, six, eight, <coughs> So we're getting 15, we get $16,000 increase in town building operations. How did that happen again? Um, we're transferring all the postage into town buildings, and then we have the town hall, um, the electricity with all the mini splits. Those were the two big, two big increases. So one was an increase, and one was just switch, post cleaning, yeah. switching. Yeah. Now that we've got the postage meter, it makes it's easier to just have one. Postage accounting. Do you think so? I think so. <laughs> Sounds right. Used to, used to be under under uh, supplies or what? Used to be under everybody's dollars postage. <laughs> for maintenance. For maintenance. <coughs> used to be under everybody's budget. Oh, okay. Everybody used to have individual line items. Now that's crazy. Isn't it? Postage. <laughs> All right. And um, you said earlier that all colas are all in here, yep. right? Um, so that top line, the 17% increase with a 17,388 number, is that total, is that a salary number? Those are, those are salaries, yeah. Okay. <coughs> you just, if I read my notes, my emails right, you just got yourself a new contract? Yep. And then we, that's so true, and then the we expanded. Uh, that's between the hip and the select, that's no, not a personal committee. No kidding. Same as the police chief. Like, mm -hmm. Sounds like a conflict. It does, but that. <laughs> I don't sign it. <laughs> he just negotiated it. He didn't sign it. He negotiated it. Why did Why did the assessors need thirty five hundred dollars? Some of that was her computer. Yeah, there's a, there's a pending case before the appellate yeah, yeah. tax board. That was the other big thing. That it has, I wouldn't say significant, but. There's a good deal of uh, revenue on the line. We multiply it out over. Okay. If we win, yeah, we said it pay for itself. Yeah. 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 You remember that? We call it. Any general government thoughts, discussion, questions? No. Uh, I make a motion we approve the general government budget. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Done. Cultural Recreation Services, CRS. 
we get a seven five twenty seven hundred dollar increase. Five thousand. Five thousand is library. Yeah, but isn't that like their internet to to get some of that back maybe? Um, yeah, at least so. Mostly collections went up a thousand. Electricity went up fourteen hundred. And the other one was the salaries. But yeah, they included the internet Comcast, which they're gonna try to get back from the Yeah, because now they're hours. in essence paying <coughs> double they're paying, double paying double twice paying for internet. Yes. They're paying the library services and Comcast. So. Yeah. So did the Rex spend all their money last year? I spent all the money last year. Kidding. No. They budgeted eleven, just over eleven thousand, and they spent just over nine thousand. I know you sent out the income stuff. What's their revolving fund like? Um, oh, I should have grabbed it. Um, it's around ten thousand, I think. And I think they've recently paid for some field improvements out of it. I'm not positive. Upcoming field improvements? Or? No, I think it was fencing. Right now? No, I mean, probably oh, last, last fall. Oh, last year? Yeah. There's not much going on there right no, now. No, not now. Although somebody's working on the baseball diamond. Yeah, that's, that's good work on that. Yeah. You know, we've got the, um, I guess, well, we're at it. We've got you know this Tri Town Beach, and here the uh, the dollars are small, increases small. Um, any any uh, any kind of discussion with uh, Select Board on the Tri Town Beach? Um, there's been discussion on a a few topics. Not necessarily pertaining to their operations, but um, in relation to whether the the field that they're not currently using or that's being currently leased, whether that would make sense for solar installation, right. and whether that could subsidize their operations and probably probably come close to paying for their whole operations. Yeah. Um, but I know there was some there was some pushback in Deerfield, from what I hear, about funding Triton Beach. I think they were. I think they're feeling a little bit of. Uh, they're going to push back on the senior center too. Yeah, it's going to be my guess. I don't. I. The lady was new, and I didn't want to badger her, but I don't. Yeah. I never hear a good thing about the senior center. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it's loud. We, I don't know. If we were to make a recommendation on the senior center, I would. I would uh, push for the select board getting an understanding of what the utilization of that center is by waiting residents in some way, shape, or form. So that next year when we get to this point, we have some numbers to deal with. Uh, right now we don't. You know, the people go to the free picnics or whatever, but I mean, other than that, there's a week. I don't think there's much going on there at all. Yeah, do you think a lot of it has to do with the condition of the facilities? The distance to get there, lack of transportation. What do I think? Off. Yeah, I I think the biggest is, is is that the people that go there are click, clicks like teenagers, oh. and there's people that don't want to go there. That's what I think. That, I think it would be nice to have some hard information for the questions you just asked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's a nice club for sure. Yeah. All right, um, recreation, cemetery, library, senior center, veterans. What you say about that? Local council, local council on aging. So we have a 6.29% um, increase. Do 
we have a motion on it? I move we approve CRS budget. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, public health. Um, got a 5.09% increase uh, through a $3,600 tab on that one. Um, solid waste again up 2,000 plus. And I think that's the same old story. What can somebody explain to me? I'm sure Fran did, but why did the foothills <coughs> budget go up? Is it what is it based hours, on? I think she got more hours. Yeah, yeah but we share her with several other towns. Yeah, the foothill. Foothill South District is Waitley, West Hampton, Williamsburg. Haydenville, I think. No, that's part of Williamsburg. Um, is it? Is it based on um, how much time she spends here? How much? I mean, uh, college, the guy from uh, You know, it just says. I'm not sure exactly. Tell split between the towns. Assessment overview. Hold off on that. Do we have questions? Solid waste. You know, that's just. I mean, that's just, just an increase. Going up. That, yeah, that, that's that's nothing going like that. Go up even more. Than yeah, that's here. That's a. Right. I have a story about solid waste. Well, uh, can you hear it? It's a company in Wisconsin. And then uh, right. closed the mill. Nobody's using cardboard. They're doing white cardboard. Guy bought it. He threw money in. The guy says, "Well." No more shipping from China. Where does Amazon get their boxes? They started making cardboard there again. Um, recycled paper came out brown. They had to test it. it. Took them like a year and a half to get it going. But they got it. They went and hired people who had jobs, who already had jobs it's in a really poor area. They said, "Can you come back?" And people said, "That's all I know." And they went back. Half the half the company went back. There you go. It's a good point. Of Market pressures. Let the free market go. Yeah. Really kind of a feel good story. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, that is a good story. <coughs> okay. Um, okay, so you, Tommy, you want to. I just want an explanation of the $1,044. Okay. What is it based on? That's okay. okay. All right, so we'll hold off until the next meeting to, uh, yeah. to get to the bottom of that. Okay, public safety. We got a 2.5% increase, $2,500 price tag increase, total of $393,566. Um, the outliers here, fire department, 6505 with a 10.44 increase. Any discussion? I think we should reduce the fire department, just the way the maintenance went last year. It to, you know, not to stir up the wrath of John. That's just lousy. He's, he's, he has got to be more accountable for how he spends his money. Uh, and we can't just keep giving him money and then there's no explanation of how he spent it. John, where'd you get the money for this? Oh, it was in my budget. Yeah. Well, where'd you get it from? He took it from one, <coughs> take it out of salaries like to not, pay for something it's else. It's like giving him a blank. Yeah, it is. Don't give him the number and let him spend it how he wants. I mean, I don't. Part of me wants to say, let's level fund them, and if he needs more money, if he That's needs the other 65 money, he's got to come that. back and ask for it. I would more. totally agree with that. Because the maintenance thing, if it was a if it was a thousand dollars more, but it was all of it. What bothers me is he can't explain the budget, but yet he no. says that he's gonna spend every dollar that's in the budget. And historically he has. And that that just rubs me wrong. I've been talking to a couple of officers trying to come to a meeting with him and explain it because he cannot explain it and they agree 
and maybe next year he will be accompanied by an officer that will be able to properly answer the questions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm working on getting that accountability and explanation. Um, so until provided. The two big increases are vehicle maintenance went up three thousand dollars and fire equipment replacement and repairs went up two thousand dollars. Well he has got one of the trucks is brand new, virtually brand new. <clears throat> and then he's going capital with the holes. Yeah. So <coughs> that the fire equipment replacement and repairs, it's not much replacement, it's all repairs, but I don't. Yeah. I can get. I like. I said I can get if you spent more on maintenance. Um, you know, ten percent more, but it was seventy percent more. It was. It was eighteen thousand. Well, yeah. ten thousand. It was eighteen thousand. Well, you can. We can look back and see. Yeah, in eighteen, you had one huge. Yeah, 27 eight. Thing, which he couldn't even explain it exactly where to go. No. He budgeted 10,000 and he spent 27 eight. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get mm -hmm. the 17 eight job? Yeah, that's the whole, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, he got it from somewhere. It was like, yeah. Did we give it to him? <clears throat> it oh, says, budget. what he speaks, it, it says that he will make do with what he has. Yeah. In essence. Basically. Um, I don't, you know, fought the fire department is is one of those budgets that you got to be careful dealing with it. And well, if he has I, ten fires, then yeah, you know, well, that's what's my, that going to do? That, that's my gut feeling is to level fund it. And if he needs, money. needs, if in six months he's up against it because we've had some big fires or we've had whatever, then we'll, you know, he's no different than anybody else. He can come in here and ask for a reserve fund transfer. And I think from an accountability standpoint for the people of Waitley, if you can't explain how you spend our money, then I think it becomes a difficult task on our part to continue <coughs> to bring the increases, to recommend the increases. Right. I agree. I agree. It's level button. Do I have a motion? I make a motion to level fund the fire department budget. Before we do that, Brian? Could I just recommend that that you level fund general expenses? Mm -hmm. Keep the general expenses right. On on John's level? Yes. Because there's a coal not, adjustment under the salaries. Not salaries. No, no not salary. salary. No. Just general expenses. So you would so you would fund general expenses at forty one five hundred? Yes. But his salaries is going to be twenty one four thirty three. Yeah, that's huge. And if he needs another six thousand dollars for some kind of repairs or whatever it is, he can come in and ask for it. make a motion that we level fund the fire department general expenses okay. and that number is going to be 41,500 and if I clarify just to make sure that would make the total fire department allocation 62,933 and at 41,5 and 21,433 yep okay so that's the number that's the new number that's the new number Brian you want to Forty-one five and twenty-one four three three. Yep. So we've got. Um, I'll make that adjustment. Sixty-two nine thirty. Sixty-two nine thirty-three. Yeah. We have a motion for sixty-two mm -hmm. nine. So moved. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, continuing on with public safety, um, 
We have um, ambulance with a uh, change for hundred sixty-five dollars. I do have a question about the ambulance. Sure. Because we got pushback when we offered here the yeah. building. Yeah. So the rent's four grand a month on a on a building that was gifted. What are you they paying the four grand for? Well, that would be my piece, question. Piece of piece of land that it sits on. Yeah, that would be that would be my question. I mean, I know this is a good deal for the residents, but I even the Deerfield residents, why would they be paying four grand? You know, they're in that they're way up here paying it. They own that land, so. right? And they own the land. So what are we paying for? <laughs> Maintenance? The question? No, that's not a brand new building. Hope not. Well, that's what? in his budget. I hear you. What Zach said is that that money's going to go into a, to a, uh, that what do you call it, a capital account for the building. But we also have the concern about that money being filtered through the general fund and then reappropriated out. Um, I'm pretty certain there's a mechanism now um, under Mass General Law where you can create an account where the proceeds of rent or lease or a lease goes directly into a separate account without having to go through the general fund. That would take away those concerns, some of those, most of those concerns. If we're worried about money in and money out. But well, you, you know, you're, you're, it's just a, it's a small increment, but you're still paying, I mean, it's 12, 12 plus a year that we're paying. Deerfield is essentially paying themselves. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, I, I know, I know yeah. and if you're the landlord yeah. and you own the building and you raise your rent through the roof so you don't make any money, that's against the law. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so what do you want to do about this? I'm, I'm fine with it. I just think it's a good question to ponder <coughs> why the rent is where it's at. How do they come up with a figure? Okay. And what is it paying for? Not, so nothing right now. Nothing right now, as far as well, I know. Shouldn't be paying for anything. Four thousand a month is forty-eight thousand a year. It's, yeah. it's, and it's going into some type of account for. When you look at a town like Sunderland, you really building. probably can't afford a building. Right. Yeah. But the build, I mean, it's a brand new <clears throat> building. Yep. Are we going to replace that building in ten years? In ten years, there's going to be half a million in there. Right. Yes. The building didn't cost a half a million. So that's a discussion. That's, a, that's a, maybe a down the road discussion. Yeah, the, le the lease ne with the Zach. lease never came to us for approval. It never came to the town for approval. The lease was approved by the board of oversight. I've I've never seen the lease. Who's on the board of oversight? John. Gary Stone and John. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got to approve this budget basically, and then we'll hash out this rent business down the road. Yeah, just something that yeah. they should be open for discussions. Okay, can we move on to the police department? Okay, we've got a 1.38% increase with a $2,700 price tag increase. Total of 199391. Any discussion, questions, concerns about the police department budget? The only question I have is that the Chief has at least put in a proposal, floated a proposal for adding a new officer. Yep. Uh, unless we want to put that off another year, do we somehow take that into account that it might happen? So, so the select board is going to discuss this on April 10th, so it might be good to hold off on this, depending on what happens there, if, if you want to, if you want to do that. Okay, so we should table this then. I don't, it's not. Table public safety. Yeah, whatever. Everything else will. Yeah, everything else. All right, we'll just pass it then. Okay, we'll put a hold on that. And, um, Are there any any other questions about that that I could find out in the meantime? Okay. All righty. Um, public works. We have uh, 383 201. Um, 
with a $12,000 increase, 3.34% increase. Um, discussion, questions? Six thousand of it is salary, but four thousand of that is Keith's promotion or whatever, or, uh, whatever we want to call it. He's now in charge of the building. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, Winter roads is up about five thousand. Don't know why. How do they review the part about if he's in charge of building, building maintenance and? People are complaining about how he's doing it. Not that I, I, not that I think that'll happen. Well, it hasn't even started yet. So you anticipating? Well, well, you never know. You know how well, you know this is this environment we live in today. Yeah. You know, my, my sidewalk wasn't shoveled. You know, at yeah. seven o'clock. Looks like the bulk of the rest of the increase is probably kind of by cost of the month. Yep. I think it's going to be key. Anything stand out to you as being a little too forward? You know when you leave Wakey. Yeah. yeah. I'll agree. The tires tell you. Just take your right, right. once they clean the Conway. Yeah, same same thing. Like where same. they started okay. off. Of. So, you know, you get what you pay for. Yeah. So all right. All right. Um I make a motion we approve the highway to her public works budget. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Okay. Insurance sure and benefits all, oh, we can tear into this. Oh, yeah. Good luck. You might as well just wink and nod and say, keep moving. Um, although you only got a 2.62% increase. Property and liability, that one went up because of the center school. Yeah, there's you know, part of it. There's a list yeah. here. Um, we're insuring it in the building. Yeah. Elementary school. We were underinsured, right? Yeah. Wow. That's debatable. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Maya says we're underinsured. For which school? Oh, yeah. The yeah. elementary school. school. Okay. Yep, yep. And then we have the, the town hall back on the town's policy. The last year was on under builder's risk policy. Okay. That was helped by the builder. And what's, then. What's going on there right now? No, they're replacing the storm windows. All of them? Um, all but one, two, probably all but four or five of them. There were two different brands of storm window, or the glass that were in the windows. All of one brand, there was some delamination that was happening. Oh boy. So they were all streaking pink. So okay. all of those are being replaced on your RT. Um, the one question I have here for the property line building insurance is there's $4,000 included to renew the center school vacant building policy. <coughs> which I think would come due 12 months from, when do we do that, February, February. March? February. Mm -hmm. um, so we could take out that 4,000 and deal with it later if we need to, if that building is still. I would definitely, that's a good idea because that puts leads on these guys to make a decision. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. So we could, we could take that amount out if we wanted to. And then we just put it back in. With the knowledge that if, need, if, if nothing need. gets done and we think this building's going to be saved and it's worthwhile to renew that, that's, uh, okay. we think there's a value to it. Yeah. That's a reasonable option that we should exercise. Um, How does everybody feel about that? Uh, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so what's that Spurs new number? Movement. 21070. So that'll go down to 75, right? <clears throat> From 79 to 75. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
down, that's not such an emergent moment. Franklin County Retirement, 15-6-26. That's an assessment we get from the Franklin County Retirement Board. Much of that has to do with- Did Blinn speak, speak to that? So we're told that people are living longer. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Everything is reported. I know. Is it a nice seat? The county retirement. Yeah. It's impressive. Can't do anything about it. So no fights. It's a big. So. It's a big number, but it's a number that <coughs> yeah. committed to. So, right. do I have? A, I a make motion? a motion. We accept the insurance and benefits. Second. Well, oh, as revised. As revised. Right. It's revised. We got a revised number. All right. I make a motion. We revise the property and liability insurance number. Let's get the number from Brian before we. What's our new total on that? For, for property and liability insurance, the new total is 75,000. For, for insurance and benefits, overall it's 786, 430, Okay. I'll do a little rounding there. We should be all right. A little bit, a little bit, that's fine. So we have a motion to accept 786, 430.01. Do we have a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Done. Okay. Unclassifieds, temporary loan, okay, reserve fund. for a 6.18% increase on their operating budget, giving them a total budget of $1,785,184. Increase of $103,925. Okay. That pattern going through does this reflect that position being half time or being it's, full -time. it's back to being full -time. full time? So half of that increase is that salary. I believe I I believe the superintendent said thirty seven thousand. All right. So of that. In in the collective time. bargaining. <clears throat> Category of the salaries. Yep. They were 9.07. What's the term on that? Is that a three year, a two year, or? Their agreement? Their agreement is typically three years. I, 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 don't, I don't think the agreements have been finalized. So how can you have the budget? Well, when that, was, when that question was asked, we were told that that number, there's a number, there's a percentage in there that reflects an increase in salaries, but we can't know what it is because it's subject to negotiations. And, and it's still ongoing? I believe so. I, I'm sure there's a figure, there's obviously a figure in there. There's obviously a percentage that's assumed. Yeah. Um, it, it didn't strike me the right way, but that's what the answer was. Okay, so. 
we really don't know what the number is. There's. I guess we can deal with everything else. Yes. No. Yeah. I, I don't know when this this negotiation negotiations will be finalized. Because we have to approve the number, right? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, we would have to. Uh, so we'll have to put uh, it off. Let's put this one off. So we can okay. We can hold off till as long as we can. And therefore, Frontier is the same way. Yeah. So I'm sure that negotiation is probably still ongoing. I believe so. Joyce, do you know the Waitley Elementary School contract negotiations? Are those still going they on? They are still going on. I got a notice for a meeting. Um, the meetings are held at times when I can't be there. Right. Oh. I'm sure it's completely right. on purpose, but it's Bob, I, uh, the other Bob, Bob Halla, uh, can make all those meetings, so he's been there. Okay. Uh, maybe he had more details, but it was yeah. been Wednesdays at 4 or 4.30, which I can never make. But it certainly hasn't been finalized. But it's, yeah, Not been finalized. But it doesn't sound like it's finalized. Okay. So, um, possibly next meeting, the schools will tap into that one one more time and we'll wait till the next meeting on that. So this is on a hold. All right. For both Frontier and Lee. Right. Yeah, okay. Um, Frank, Franklin County good? Yeah. How many yeah. students do we have there? That's a good question. We have, nine, I want to say nine. Enrollment as of October 1st, 2018, Waitley has nine. We have a motion to, uh, first of all, discussion on Franklin County Technical School budget. Any questions? Do we have a motion to accept? Make a motion we accept the Franklin County Tech budget. Second. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Right. So that's good. And I'll, I'll make a motion we approve the Smith vote one too. Okay. <laughs> I'll probably handle that myself. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, why is that even in here? Okay. You have had students go in there. So the arrangement is that <clears throat> if a student wants a vocational offering that's not Provided by Franklin Tech, they have the option to do tuition at Smith Oak. So that gotcha. gotcha. Which we have had a few in the past. Mm -hmm. And we have to pay um, I'd like to, um, you know, we have debt in the short term, debt, fire truck. I don't think those are there's any issues there. Three more years after this on the fire truck, or are we three into it? Two. I, I two went to it, we got three more. Well, that one, was it? Um, yeah, well, I think it was five years. I can tell you one second. We have uh, payments for FY20 and FY21. So we have two more payments to make. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. All right. Um, Enterprise Fund, Water Department. All right, we're going to vote on. Oh, I'm sorry. We got to vote on debt first. Debt. I make a motion we approve the debt. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Now, I would suggest we hold off on the Enterprise Fund. Yeah. Yeah. Because the the uh, overhead, the last line overhead here is based on most of the line items that we just approved. So. We'll have to send this figure to them, the water commissioners, to approve that. I'd like to, um, I know we're going to be talking about the water situation shortly, uh, but while we're speaking strictly on the enterprise fund, I just want to kick around uh, with the uh, finance committee. Um, the way we see it right now, the enterprise fund does not have in their budget a capital piece. Okay. So 
in the event of some kind of infrastructure catastrophe or minor catastrophe, they would obviously have to come back to the town. Should we, as a finance committee, make a recommendation to them that they start to build into their budget? That's fiduciary responsible. So that's what that's I want to discuss. Responsible. What, what, what do you guys and gals think about this? That the, making a recommendation to them my, from my the feeling finance. is is that they don't have they don't have the money. They, they don't have any money to set aside. We don't have money for Obed, but we can't give it up. Give it up right? yeah. What? We don't have money for Obed, but we can't give it up. That's right. Uh, I don't think they're gonna be able to do anything until after this fiasco gets over. After the merger. Right. But I what I would like to see, or what I think is is our responsibility is is that a department does not come back to the town for something that possibly could have been avoided with long-term um, strategy insight, whatever. Yeah. And, um, and I think this is a, an obvious case. So, I mean, we could make a recommendation this year. It doesn't happen, we can make a recommendation next year. Yeah. And we can keep going um, to suggest to them that we're not, we're, you know, we're not trying to run your department. What we are saying is that you have a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that if issues arise, you can handle them internally prior to coming to the town. Does that make sense? Total. <clears throat> Which would mean raising the rates because that's what they possibly are. maybe it's however they, they want, want to do it if they want to put five dollars a month away if they want to put 30 cents away if yeah. they want to put five hundred dollars away that's their responsibility yeah not for us to tell them how much or how to do it but our recommendation is when we see we have to look at their budget yeah every year and we have to recommend to the town to we set money aside for the town in the town budget so right they should set money aside in their budget exactly okay yes oh so, yeah i agree yeah okay. but i don't see where they're going to get it and that's well that's it could be even, job. It could be even job. part of um hookup fees yeah I, I, take two of those and if you if you're going to get two. four take two take two and put, put them in a can they do that that's their job that's their, their job. job. No, no, I'm saying. Well, then let's not talk about it. Okay. All right. Their job. Right. Yeah. Our recommendation is that they have within their budget that they start to build some capital reserves. And we'd like to send that to the water commissioners and um, as recommended by the finance committee. They do it with a pickup. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're really going to have to wait until this next discussion uh, regarding the water department and I think until we can get a handle on what the enterprise funds are going to be. Yeah, uh, as far as we can go again. That's it. I want to discuss part of both miscellaneous spending articles. Um, oh, no. Which one? What are miscellaneous spending articles? Where do we find those? Those are the ones that. Um, <coughs> capital? Yeah, those are the ones that I refer to that when they're italics here. One of them is just the Frontier Capital. Okay. Uh, but we need them to. We need to vote on that. All right, so we can't really vote on that. Right. Um, and then there's the standing request from the 250th committee for yeah. the appropriation of $20,000. Um, 
So those are the two that, that I have listed right now. The 14,000 we really can't vote on. We don't know exactly what that is, but that's... After, a, after right. April 4th, that's we will park. hopefully have a better handle on it. We should have an exact figure. We'll know which, which portion of the... Well, we should have a semi-exact figure at least on this well borrow and issue the bonds. Um, and there should be some articles relating to that as well. In terms of giving permission to or ratifying this whole committee's decision. So I don't know if there's a lot to vote on tonight. But. No. Do you have anything else you'd like us to discuss, Brian, for the 630 meeting? Um, and then the only other part is typically we set an amount of free cash that we apply towards uh, reducing the tax levy. In the past couple of years, that's been 200000 yep. The budget projection that you, the, the most recent budget projections you have would include that, include that amount. Um, I think long term, it's, it's something we should try to get away from. Um, but with the uh, with the shift this year from um, for the schools, for the Whitley Elementary School, the shift from school choice or the disappearing school choice funds and the shift from those expenses from the school choice um, school choice line item to the town line item, it may not be the best year to do that. Yeah. Um, but that's so what the committee would want to do. What you're saying we should do is down the road, we need to basically increase the tax rate. The school committee should come here with a budget without school choice in it. That's what they should do. But they don't have it in them. They don't, yeah. They don't, they don't want to afraid to scare everybody. But instead of using yes. free cash, we would, well, use less free cash and yeah. raise, you know, we're down to, what, 81 point something percent of our levy limit. See, now you're talking like those guys on the other end. Get it up to 90, right? No, I don't want to get it up to 90, but I, I, I would almost rather see more of the free cash go into stabilization or something else. But right. we have gotten into the habit of taking money. Taking, and our free cash seems to keep easing its way up all the time. Yeah, well, it's the taxpayer's money. It is the taxpayer's money. That's an argument for reducing the tax rate. Yep. But we really don't have a lot in our savings accounts, so well, to speak. Stabilization is, well, free cash is six. Six something. Yep. Six twenty-three or something. New. Yeah. And then stabilization is. Uh, stabilization is not on here. Um, but we have capital stable. It's around. It's over three hundred thousand. <coughs> That's not. I'll get to the exact figure. Um, so, you know, total budget five six eight six two. I get a number of ten percent. Yep. Um, so free cash stabilization in that ballpark. So I don't agree with that number. Okay. Um, that's way too long. Well, I don't know what the number should be, to be honest. With you. Um, and I think if you, if you have too much, I think the state comes and takes a look at it. Well, so far they haven't. It, no, we haven't had a lot. Based, if it's based on how big our budget is, it should be way more. Yeah. Yeah. It's about 5% right now, right? I don't know, you're the guy with the calculator. Yeah. Well, 300,000, yeah, 5% of the 6 million. So we'll go over that. Well, that does include that does include taking that free cash money and yeah. offsetting the rate, right? Offsetting the increase. Two hundred thousand? Yeah. Yeah. 
Say that again. I, I think the answer is no, but oh, the answer is no. Yeah. yeah. So you have not applied any free cash to the budget, and yes, he has. Two hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay. If you look on the budget projection sheet, okay. this is the projected total expenses on the first page. Total amount to be raised. Right. Yep. Six thousand. Ah, six thousand. Six million. Eighty one. Six million. Right. Right. Um, those are total expenses. The next sheet's projected revenue. So that includes the two hundred thousand to offset the tax rate. Okay. The next sheet total estimated property tax levy. That's the four million three forty. Hey, we done for a reval. No, it's been moved every five years. So it's probably another three years. Three years. Does that? I didn't see anywhere on here any additional contributions to the vehicle purchase fund or stabilization. No, we've any of that. no, those are things that we need to talk about. Okay. Um, but I think it'd be good to have that conversation after we figure out what okay. the dust settles after the water merger. I just want to make sure yeah. what yeah what is here and what is yeah. discussions on the total budget we have an actual tax rate but really until we get the schools <coughs> finalized well that's the school committee approved budget um, I could we have plenty of time yeah we get time to worry about it see what Maybe information time. I can get in terms of okay if they think the number the percentage that they included will exceed the negotiations but I wonder if they're gonna they're gonna have an answer by the sixteenth. I don't know. You know when that meeting was posted? I, I, I'm thinking it's um, tomorrow. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. I'll, it's a definite maybe. If not, we approve it. Pending. And it will. And if it's over, they'll have to come back to us. Or amended on town meeting before, which gets very messy. Yeah, messy. Yeah, that's messy. I don't like doing that. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.